Hey everyone, I found another vendor that sells Vicks Vapor Rub type tarts. I did a Google search and I came across this vendor which is Country Trail Soy Candles. So I just wanted to tell you about this because I know some of you are interested in the Vicks Vapor Rub type tarts, the sinus relief type tarts. So I think this is going to be a pretty good one. I've sniffed it a few times. I have not melted it, but it smells really good. So let me show you the business card. The owner's name is Karen. She's really nice. She's very professional and she's on top of things. Now let me tell you about the excellent customer service that I experienced. Then I'm going to show you her website and then I'll show you what I purchased. First of all, I placed this order on August 30th. I received my package on September 1st. Second, when I placed the order, I ordered two of the same thing. The, the thing is, they have different names. So there's the Sinus Soother Tart, and then there's one called Snot Shot. <laughs> okay, I know that's a crazy name, but I love it. Snot Shot. So, those, are, those happen to be the same tart, right? It's the same thing, but for marketing purposes, they've given it two different names. So, I placed the order for both of them, and on their scent list, it does say the same thing. It's the exact same scent description, but I ordered both. Karen emailed me um, like a couple of hours after I placed the order. Now, I placed the order in the middle of the night. So first thing in the morning, she emailed me to thank me for the placing the order. But then she also said that I ordered two of the same thing. That the snot shot and that the sinus soother is exactly the same. I really appreciate her doing that, okay, because she didn't have to do that. She could have just rolled with it, taken my money, let me figure it out on my own. You know what I'm saying? We know that a lot of vendors, a lot of companies, they repackage things, they put a new name on it, and they sell it to us. And they don't expect us to know any better when we do know better. So I really respect Karen for doing that. She didn't have to tell me, but she did. And that just goes such a long way with me. The third thing, there was a problem with the credit card that I provided to process this transaction. I had no idea. I very rarely use this credit card, but I used it for this transaction. And Karen tried to run the credit card a few times to process the order, and it wasn't going through. She called me directly. And, you know, she wanted, she was very nice about it. I was so embarrassed, but she, you know, she didn't make me feel awkward. She was really nice. She was really patient. And she offered to let me use, you know, she was like, do, do I want to use another card? You know, did I want to, you know, continue with the order? And, you know, I immediately gave her my other card, which was working, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just really appreciate her doing that. One, that she took the time to call me. And here's why. Because my bank actually closed that credit card because there was attempted fraudulent activity on that card earlier in the month, and I didn't even know it. And the other reason why I appreciate her calling me to tell me that she couldn't get it to process was because I was about to go on vacation a couple of days later and I would have been trying to swipe that card and would not have even known. Um, fortunately, I was able to go to the bank that afternoon and get everything taken care of. So thank you very much for that, Karen. But that just really meant a lot to me that she took the time to call me, okay, because she could have just emailed me. But, you know, she was, and then we chatted, we chatted a little bit during that conversation, you know what I mean? It was just like, it wasn't just about the business, we kind of just 
you know, talked a little bit. So that was really nice. I really like her. So I will provide the links to her website and her Facebook page. Drop by, say hello, check out her products. Um, and let me know if you find anything that you like. Okay, now, just a quick look at her website. Okay, so as it says here, welcome to Country Trail Soy Candles. The website is countrytrailcandles.com. And here's the banner for, for her page. She's located in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Okay. And if you're looking to order her products, just go right underneath the banner. And there's a row here with various categories. And you just want to click on order online. And that will bring you to a page that shows you her large candles, her small candles, her soy melts and her room and car sprays okay um, the soy melts are right there and they are right now they're going for four dollars I paid three dollars for mine because they were on sale when I placed my order so you know again like her Facebook page and you'll know when she's having another sale her scent list she has a lot of items on her scent list and I'm sure that she's adding all of the time. Let me show you what I was referring to. Here's the sinus soother tart and then right underneath it is snot shot. And look at the nose. The nose, the nostrils move. <laughs> anyway, um, the scent description is exactly the same. Refreshing and clean. Smells like you just opened up a jar of Vicks Vapor Rub. Exactly the same for both. They just have different names for marketing purposes. So that is Country Trail Soy Candles. Um, Karen also sells candle warmers, wick trimmers, and I think wick dippers. So check out her site for uh, candle accessories as well. So here's the sinus soother clamshell melt. Um, this one is very strong. It's um, when I inhale it, it's very penetrating. I think it's going to be a strong one. I really hope it will be. Some of you may not like strong ones, and that's okay. I like them really strong, but super strong is not always necessary. So I will follow up with you and let you know how I'm liking this. And I do think that I do think that this is an, a good value. This is a good value for $4. Um, I would pay $4 for my sinus relief tarts or Vicks Vapor Rub tarts or sinus soother tarts. I think that they're totally worth it. Next, I ordered candied chestnuts. Uh, chestnuts are pretty popular here in New York, especially near the Central Park area. They always have the um, cart vendors there roasting ch chestnuts. Not a huge favorite of mine, but, um, you know, I, I like the scent of this. I wanted to give this one a try. Um, this is very sugary, buttery, really sweet. I'm not picking up on the nuttiness just yet, but maybe that will come through when I melt it. This next one is rosemary. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It's very fresh, um, pure, that really authentic rosemary scent comes through on this one. So I really like this. I can't wait to melt these. This is basil, sage, and mint. I get the mint, I get the basil, and the sage is light, but it's there. So I'm looking forward to melting this as well. Next is lavender milk bath. This one, I get lavender when I sniff it, and there is such a creamy milkiness to this. It's so soothing. It, I As I was sniffing, and I felt like it was just enveloping me, like just... 
it smells so good so I think it's gonna be even better when I start to melt it all right now I'm gonna show you some of the samples that I received okay I'm gonna try to start with bakery stuff so this is Amish bread hot apple pie orange clove Craig's sugar cookie. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Oh, I got another Craig's sugar cookie. Yay! It smells so good. It smells like ice cream or oh, it's just buttery. It's sweet. It's creamy. Cinnamon buns and blueberry muffin. This is another one that I really like. I haven't melted these yet. I know, but it just smells so good sorry about the lighting this one is beach bum monkey fart victorian spice I like this one it smells very good lavender this smells like a pure lavender scent this one is misspelled but it's country campfire Smorter Eliminator. This smells so good. This is one of those over eliminating tarts. Mm. There's a citrus note in this that it is so good. Spiced cranberry. Baby powder. I just wanted to say about this baby powder. There is something about this that I really really like I like baby powder scents but this one to me is kind of creamy it's not that powdery like talc smell I don't know naked butt and tropical beaches okay so that is my order from country trail soy candles um, please stop by the Facebook page and drop in and say hi to Karen. Check out her website. Check out her products. I will be back with reviews on these. These um, five, I think these are 0.5 ounces. These are pretty highly fragranced. I mean, I sniffed all of them and I'm getting a lot of scent from them. So I will follow up to let you know how the throw is on these. And, um... I will definitely follow up on the sinus soother to let you know about that. If you saw anything that you would like for me to do a review on, please do not hesitate to ask. Okay, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.